there is a compilation of photos going around about a little boy named Yasser, a nine-year-old little boy from a certain part of the world who's got cerebral palsy and has succumbed to starvation and dehydration. My goal on this app regarding this conflict has always been to educate on healthcare, the plight of healthcare workers, the plight of the hospital and healthcare system, and specifically children and children in this conflict. And I find one comment that I have seen um, multiple times regarding Yasser is, why do all the adults look so healthy around him? And I, as a pediatrician, feel very well versed to be able to answer this. And I can say that children do not have the same stores that adults do to burn through in regards to fat and muscle. That is why dehydration and starvation or poor caloric intake impacts them so drastically and so dramatically. The body mass ratio, there's, there's just not the same composition when it comes to children. Now specifically talking about compositions and ratios, I have spoken before in the past about inborn errors of metabolism and metabolic diseases. Cerebral palsy is not one of those and I'd like to make that clear. However, many children are in this region impacted by inborn errors of metabolism. And in that specific situation, carbs, protein, and fat ratios matter. They make a huge difference. And this is not like the mumbo jumbo, holistic gut health. I'm here to balance your hormones and get you the right ratios kind of stuff. This is like legit. If you don't, you could go into ketosis. You could go into a coma. You could die. So when we don't have enough caloric intake, things like horse feed, donkey feed, or bird feed are not going to be able to cut it when you're looking for specific carb fat protein ratios. So again, you're seeing those children with those inborn errors of metabolism or with special needs or with pre-existing conditions succumbing to starvation and dehydration at a much higher rate. Now the CEO of a UK organization called Medical Aid for Palestine has actually stated this is the fastest nutritional decline of a population ever recorded. And in the simplest terms possible, if you're still watching this video and you care just a smidge about children, is that children are being starved at the fastest rate that the world has ever seen.